poly, also known as acrylic or acrylic glass as well as by the trade names plexiglass, acrylite, lucite, and perspex among several others, is a transparent thermoplastic often used in sheet form as a lightweight or shatter-resistant alternative to glass. The same material can be utilized as a casting resin, in inks and coatings, and has many other uses. Although not a type of familiar silica-based glass, the substance, like many thermoplastics, is often technically classified as a type of glass hence its occasional historic designation as acrylic glass. Chemically, it is the synthetic polymer of metal metaracrylate. The material was developed in 1928 in several different laboratories by many chemists such as William Chalmers. Otto Rome and Walter Bauer and was first brought to market in 1933 by the Roman Haas Company under the trademark Plexiglass. PMMA is an economical alternative to polycarbonate when extreme strength is not necessary. Additionally, PMMA does not contain the potentially harmful bisphenol A subunits found in polycarbonate. It is often preferred because of its moderate properties, easy handling and processing, and low cost. Non-modified PMMA behaves in a brittle manner when under load, especially under an impact force, and is more prone to scratching than conventional inorganic glass but modified PMMA is sometimes able to achieve high scratch and impact resistance. History the first acrylic acid was created in 1843. Methacrylic acid, derived from acrylic acid, was formulated in 1865. The reaction between methacrylic acid and methanol results in the ester methyl metaracrylate. In 1877 the German chemist Wilhelm Rudolf Fittig discovered the polymerization process that turns methyl metaracrylate into polymethyl metaracrylate. In 1933, the brand name Plexiglass was patented and registered by another German chemist, Otto Rome. In 1936, Imperial Chemical Industries began the first commercially viable production of acrylic safety glass. During World War II both Allied and Axis forces used acrylic glass for submarine periscopes and aircraft windshields, canopies, and gun turrets. Airplane pilots whose eyes were damaged by flying shards of PMMA fared much better than those injured by standard glass, demonstrating the much increased compatibility between human tissue and PMMA as compared to glass. Names common orthographic stylings include polymethyl metaracrylate and polymethyl metaracrylate. The full chemical name is poly. Although often called simply acrylic, acrylic can also refer to other polymers or copolymers containing polyacrylonitrile. The other notable trade names include acrylite, a trademark of Evernix Iro since 1976, lucite, a trademark of DuPont, first registered in 1937, Arcas, a trademark of Reynolds Polymer Technology. Founded in 1987 after spinning off from Reynolds and Taylor, they specialize in large-scale and thick monolithic acrylic. Plexiglass, a trademark of Alpha Tokem, now a subsidiary of Arkema. Optics, a trademark of Plaskalite. Perspex, a trademark of Imperial Chemical Industries. Oroglass, a trademark of Roman Haas. Altuglas, also a trademark of Roman Haas. Cyrolite, a trademark of CYRO, Xyla, a trademark of Nova Chemicals, Synthesis, PMMA is routinely produced by emulsion polymerization, solution polymerization, and bulk polymerization. Generally, radical initiation is used, but anionic polymerization of PMMA can also be performed. To produce 1 kg of PMMA, about 2 kg of petroleum is needed. PMMA produced by radical polymerization is atactic and completely amorphous. Processing The glass transition temperature of atactic PMMA is 105 degrees Celsius. The TG values of commercial grades of PMMA range from 85 to 165 degrees Celsius. The range is so wide because of the vast number of commercial compositions which are copolymers with co-monomers other than methyl metaracrylate. 
PMMA is thus an organic glass at room temperature, i.e., it is below its Tg. The forming temperature starts at the glass transition temperature and goes up from there. All common molding processes may be used, including injection molding, compression molding, and extrusion. The highest quality PMMA sheets are produced by cell casting, but in this case, the polymerization and molding steps occur concurrently. The strength of the material is higher than molding grades owing to its extremely high molecular mass. Rubber toughening has been used to increase the toughness of PMMA owing to its brittle behavior in response to applied loads. Handling, cutting, and joining. PMMA can be joined using cyanoacrylate cement with heat or by using solvents such as di or trichloromethane to dissolve the plastic at the joint, which then fuses and sets, forming an almost invisible weld. Scratches may easily be removed by polishing or by heating the surface of the material. Laser cutting may be used to form intricate designs from PMMA sheets. PMMA vaporizes to gaseous compounds upon laser cutting, so a very clean cut is made, and cutting is performed very easily. However, the pulsed laser cutting introduces high internal stresses along the cut edge, which on exposure to solvents produce undesirable stress crazing at the cut edge and several millimeters deep. Even ammonium-based glass cleaner and almost everything short of soap and water produces similar undesirable crazing, sometimes over the entire surface of the cut parts, at great distances from the stressed edge. Annealing the PMMA sheet parts is therefore an obligatory post-processing step when intending to chemically bond laser-cut parts together. This involves heating the parts in an air-circulating oven from room temperature up to 90 degrees Celsius down to room temperature. Temperature should be maintained as follows. 1 hour for 3 mm thickness, 2 hours for up to 6 mm thickness, 4 hours for up to 12 mm thickness, and 6 hours for up to 20 mm thickness. A rapid annealing cycle is reliable for thin sheets and involves placing them in a preheated oven to 80 degrees Celsius for 1 hour, then removing parts from the oven and allowing to cool to room temperature. This added time component should be factored into the whole fabrication process, and the alternative zero rakes or cutting technique may provide better cost effectiveness, unless complex non-straight line edges are required. In this respect PMMA has an advantage over competing polymers such as polystyrene and polycarbonate, which require higher laser powers and give more messy and charred laser cuts. In the majority of applications, it will not shatter, rather, it breaks into large dull pieces. Since PMMA is softer and more easily scratched than glass, scratch-resistant coatings are often added to PMMA sheets to protect it. Acrylate resin casting Metal metaacrylate synthetic resin for casting may be used in conjunction with a polymerization catalyst such as MEKP to produce hard and transparent PMMA in any shape, from a mold, objects like insects or coins, or even dangerous chemicals in breakable quartz ampules, may be embedded in such cast blocks, for display and safe handling. Properties PMMA is a strong and lightweight material. It has a density of 1.17 minus 1.20 grams per cc, which is less than half that of glass. It also has good impact strength, higher than both glass and polystyrene. However, PMMA's impact strength is still significantly lower than polycarbonate and some engineered polymers. PMMA ignites at 460 degrees Celsius and burns, forming carbon dioxide, water, carbon monoxide and low molecular weight compounds, including formaldehyde. PMMA transmits up to 92% of visible light and gives a reflection of about 4% from each of its surfaces due to its refractive index. It filters ultraviolet light at wavelengths below about 300 nanometers. Some manufacturers add coatings or additives to PMMA to improve absorption in the 300 to 400 nanometers range. 
PMMA passes infrared light of up to 2,800 nanometers and blocks IR of longer wavelengths up to 25,000 nanometers. Colored PMMA varieties allow specific IR wavelengths to pass while blocking visible light. PMMA swells and dissolves in many organic solvents. It also has poor resistance to many other chemicals due to its easily hydrolyzed ester groups. Nevertheless, its environmental stability is superior to most other plastics such as polystyrene and polyethylene, and PMMA is therefore often the material of choice for outdoor applications. PMMA has a maximum water absorption ratio of 0.3 minus 0.4% by weight. Tensile strength decreases with increased water absorption. Its coefficient of thermal expansion is relatively high at times 10 minus 5 K minus 1. Modification of properties pure polyhomopolymer is rarely sold as an end product, since it is not optimized for most applications. Rather, modified formulations with varying amounts of other comonomers, additives, and fillers are created for uses where specific properties are required. For example, a small amount of acrylate comonomers are routinely used in PMMA grades destined for heat processing. Since this stabilizes the polymer to depolymerization during processing, comonomers such as butyl acrylate are often added to improve impact strength. Comonomers such as methacrylic acid can be added to increase the glass transition temperature of the polymer for higher temperature use such as in lighting applications. Plasticizers may be added to improve processing properties, lower the glass transition temperature, or improve impact properties. Dyes may be added to give color for decorative applications, or to protect against UV light. Fillers may be added to improve cost-effectiveness. Poly, the polymer of methyl acrylate, PMA or poly, is similar to poly, except for the lack of methyl groups on the backbone carbon chain. PMA is a soft white rubbery material that is softer than PMMA because its long polymer chains are thinner and smoother and can more easily slide past each other.